Coronavirus cases are growing at a Jacksonville assisted living facility as well. Two more residents at Camellia at Deerwood, they had a positive diagnosis, putting the number at seven positive cases of the virus. News for Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live outside the facility. Marilyn, what else did they say about these cases? Management told residents and families the two residents who tested positive were already quarantined at the hospital. They're saying out of an abundance of caution, the Department of Health is going to start testing people who don't even meet standard criteria. The outbreak at assisted living facility Camellia at Deerwood continues to grow in size, with two more residents testing positive for novel coronavirus. Families with loved ones quarantined inside have told us they are concerned. But I do worry about it becoming worse. I didn't think it was going to hit home, but it's my mom. The first resident of Camellia Deerwood to test positive for COVID-19, an 83-year-old man, died this week, according to the Florida Department of Health. In letters to families, Camellia at Deerwood management said, quote, out of an abundance of caution, the DOH has initiated testing for some additional individuals that do not meet the standard criteria, end quote. According to the Agency for Healthcare Administration Secretary, this facility is one of more than a dozen long-term health facilities across the state with a confirmed or suspected case of COVID-19. In Broward County, two residents of a senior living facility died after testing positive for the virus and five other residents tested positive for COVID-19. Florida Surgeon General Dr. Scott Rivke says if they become aware of an assisted living facility with five positive cases, they'd send in a strike team. And the strike team will consist of a nurse, an epidemiologist, an infection control specialist, and somebody from ACA. And we will go door to door. We actually did this earlier this week. And we checked every resident for their temperature. Rifkes also says they are making sure any residents who are sick will get medical attention. You can see a timeline of the spread of this virus here at this facility right now on newsforjacks.com. We're live tonight in the South Side, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.